I'm Levi, a creative adventure seeker and explorer by heart. A few years ago, I set out on a mission, a mission to find the most unusual, inspired, and unique one night stays in America. And I'm taking you with me. This is Tiny B&B. Let's go. Located in this very peaceful and quiet alleyway is the Alley Cat, which is the tiny house we are staying at tonight. It's on Airbnb, and I'm gonna be giving you guys a tour of this place so you can come check it out for yourself. So, let's go check out this tiny house. Welcome to this 360 square foot tiny home. We are located in Fredericksburg, Texas. This is such a beautiful town in the hill country of Texas. So if you're in the area or you're coming to Texas, you have to check out this place. I hear it's the next Napa Valley, but you'll pull up in the alley and you got even some parking right here for your tiny house. And then we can just continue along and let's just show what the outside of this offers. It is really cute here, actually. The outside looks like a typical tiny house. I love the wooden beams they have right here. But they have a front porch, so let's continue walking. You have some seating options out here, but the best thing I think out here is the hot tub, which is right here. You have your own hot tub in your front of your tiny home, which is a nice thing. There's also curtains right here for you to close if you want some more privacy because there are some other homes around. But this is a really cute little uh, tiny house located in the alley. But now let's go check out what the inside has to offer. Whenever you walk in, you'll notice that you can see basically everything that this tiny house has to offer. It is a small but open concept. I think you guys will like it because of how simple it is and how minimal it is and the fact that it is a tiny home and it looks so good. So the first thing you'd walk right into is your bedroom slash living space. So if you walk back this way, you have a king size bed right behind me. The decor they choose is really gorgeous and even this huge area rug that fills in the floor. The floor are the concrete floors, which I think a lot of people are moving towards because it looks good, it's easy to clean, and it just gives a space the definite type of feel it has compared to like hardwood floors or anything like that. This is right next to these gorgeous front windows. They're the black windows, which is another design aspect that I think a lot of people are moving towards. And there's also curtains here if you want to close them up at night or whatever. And now the best thing I think the king size bed faces right behind you, the TV and fireplace area. And it's just nice to have this at night and enjoy your area. There's also a little chair right here if you need to get ready right here or if you want to chill out and not sit on the bed. But that is basically half of your home. Now we'll move over to your kitchen area. So as we walk along, you reach your little nook that is your kitchen. Now this is, I think, a very well-designed kitchen for a tiny house because it has the things you need, but it doesn't have literally everything. And it just takes up this little nook. You have this gorgeous sink with the gold accents and you have this really deep black or dark blue basin. And then with the white countertops, it just looks really good. And then you have your coffee station right here. They include some customized cookies that have what your home looks like. So this cookie literally looks like the home you're staying in. And then right above that, you have some floating shelves and some dishes. I really like these pink uh, dishes. They look really good with the whole color scheme in here. They are from World Market, just FYI. And then just over here, you have more floating shelves, the wood. And that's really about it for what is up here. I love this huge window that lets in light in the kitchen area. And then right below it, these blue cabinets with the gold pieces look so good. You have a microwave, you have some dishes and stuff like utensils. And then over here, you have your fridge. Now, there's some add-ons you can get with this home. You can get a charcuterie board, you can get chocolate-covered strawberries, and a couple other things. So if you book through Heavenly Hosts, you can check that out and you can have them as an add-on. So fellas, if you're coming here for like a honeymoon retreat or an anniversary and you wanna surprise your lady with some 
things like that, I would highly suggest that out. But now, let's enter the last part of the home, which is the bathroom. So to enter the bathroom, you slide this gorgeous black sliding door out of the way and you enter your bathroom. On this side, you have the matching cabinets with the gold accents as the kitchen, also the white countertop, and then of course the gold faucet. It just looks really gorgeous on this side, and of course, your mirror. And then as you continue along, you have your toilet, and then you reach your amazing shower, which is a really nice touch in here, I think. The tiling, if you notice the tile behind that, is so gorgeous. Uh, I was talking to the owner, and they said it took them forever to find this tile, but if you want it, it is located here in Fredericksburg, Texas. And then the subway tile on each side. But the cool thing about the shower is how it's pointed to a point up above. I think that gives it a really nice looking design in the shower. And also the tub, if we take a closer look, this tub is absolutely massive and there's also jets in here. So awesome bathtub and shower. So that is your tiny home. It is 360 square foot, so it is pretty tiny, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. What are some design aspects here that you'd want to implement in your home? I would implement would be probably the wooden beams in the front. That looks gorgeous. The black windows that they chose over here in the front with the white, the color scheme, but specifically the black windows look really good. It truly blew me away. So this is a highly suggested area i'm trying to really showcase the most beautiful experiences on airbnb so now let's go check out our next tiny house airbnb today we are here in fredericksburg texas the hill country the next napa valley i hear and we are at this tiny house airbnb right behind me but what's special about this one is that it was a garage but the owners converted it into a tiny home very unique, so let's go check that out. Let's get along with the tour. Whenever you arrive to your Airbnb, right behind me as you can see, it doesn't really look like a garage. The owners did a great job of renovating it to make it look like a tiny home. So let's just take a step closer. The first thing you'll notice right behind me is that this Porsche area is really gorgeous. You have a couple seating options. I love what they did with the wood pillars right here. It really enhances the home. Even this tree that's like right in front of the home makes this home feel a little bit more homey and it looks really good. And there's fencing all the way around this place. So it's really private. Let's get on with the inside and I'll show you guys what a garage will look like now to a tiny home. Let's go. So you'll walk in and you'll notice that this place has a really nice, large, open concept. So it kind of doesn't feel like a tiny house, but by square footage and everything else, this is technically, I would say, a tiny home. So we'll just start with the living room, which is the first thing you'll see, and it takes up about half of this tiny house, I would say. As you can see behind me, it is a pretty spacious living room. Uh, you got some seating options, your windows, your front windows that you can close these blinds to if you want for more privacy. And if we continue along, you got barn wood sliding doors that leads to your closet. But the main attraction for this living room, I would say, is this fireplace that divides you from your bedroom. And it's a really nice looking fireplace. You can see it on both sides. And just this metal sheeting they used right here looks so good. And then, of course, you got your TV right above that. And that's basically your living room. And now we're going to enter into the rest of the home. As you continue walking along this home, you reach your little dining area right here. It is a table with some chairs. It just matches everything in here. Also, one thing to note, you might notice the floor still looks like the garage floor, which is kind of neat. I've noticed a lot of places are using concrete floors right now. But we'll continue along. And you got your typical tiny house kitchen right behind me. And this is a very small kitchen, but it fits the area. This is a tiny house. You got your farm style sink right here. You got some cabinets below here. You got your little mini fridge and a microwave. Of course, you got your coffee and then you got your floating shelf up here that has more dishes and stuff in it. Now the farmhouse sink and the subway tile right here looks so good, I think. Also, one thing to note is this host leaves cookies for you. These cookies look exactly like the home and they're just fitting with your home. You won't find these cookies literally anywhere else because this is your home that you're staying in on a cookie. Let's continue along. Now you reach your master bedroom. The master bedroom is about the same size as the living room. It has a king size bed right here. It has an end table at the end of it and there's two side tables 
on each side. This is also a pretty minimal uh, master bedroom, but it's just connected with everything else. So what else you have? You have this little table right here on the bed for you. And we'll continue along. And something neat is you have a chicken wire uh, headboard right here. Super cool. That's about it for the bedroom. You also have perfect view of the fireplace and another TV right up here. And now we'll enter into the very gorgeous part of this home. One of my favorite pieces is the bathroom. So let's go there. So to get to the bathroom, you have to open up these sliding barn doors. And this bathroom looks so good. The first thing you see is your hot tub with this gorgeous backsplash. The bathtub is the centerpiece of this whole bathroom. It's so cute with this. And the tiling just looks so good right behind it. It is a staple to this bathroom. But on this side, as we go along, you have your vanity. And it's just all white and bright in here. You got some wood, of course. There's wood all throughout the home. It looks really good. And then the last thing, you have your toilet room right back here. It's just a toilet. So you can be in here. Somebody else can be doing something else. And you're both using it, which is really nice. But now we'll swing over to this other side past the bathtub and you got your huge walk-in shower right here. Let me just show you how big it is. This thing is massive and it's so good. It's so awesome to have one of these in a tiny home. This bathroom is absolutely massive for what I would consider a tiny house. But now, after all of that, we will enter what I think is the best part, which is why I think it's called Enchanted Getaway. We will enter the backyard area. This is your totally private backyard slash patio area, and it has a lot to offer. As you can see, it's surrounded and all fenced in, and the best thing about this is that there is a hot tub for you guys to enjoy whenever you stay here. You can chill out here in the evenings. You can watch the stars. I love whenever Airbnbs have hot tubs. It is so cool. And then right next to that is this huge outdoor fireplace area. That is a unique touch, I think, as well. Not too many places. They only have fire pits. This is like a chimney. This is the whole shebang. It is awesome. And then there's some seating right next to it. And then another cool thing is that if we turn around right here, the place has an outdoor shower as well. I know a lot of you guys out there like to shower outdoors. So you have the option here to do that as well. And it's not gross. It's actually really high quality and it looks so good. So this is your private backyard area. And I think this is a huge aspect of this Airbnb experience. So that is your tiny home. I hope this home was a huge inspiration for you, how you can turn a garage into a tiny home.